welcome back to my channel this is kareen today i'm going to be doing a look using the urban decay electric palette to get the look i just showed you so now i'm just going to be priming my eyelids <clears throat> i'm going to be using the urban decay eyeshadow primer in the in sin i think it's called sin and now i'm taking my fingers and just blending it out Okay, so now I'm going to use a white shadow to set my primer on my lids so that when I put down a color, it will blend out easily and it won't be patchy and all that. So, so I'm just setting my other eyelid now. So I'm going to take this pink savage color I think it's like a pink matte color and I'm gonna use it as my transition shade so I'm going to stick it in between my occipital right there where my occipital bone is and just like blend it out and try to build up some color there and I'm gonna be doing the same for both eyes so And then I'm gonna feather it out um, in the outer corner so it could, you know, just feather out the color. I'm gonna keep blending. This blending brush is gonna be the biggest blending brush that I'm going to use for my eyeshadow. And then the next one will be like a little bit smaller and then the one after that's gonna be a little bit smaller but they're all gonna be clean brushes I actually found out that using a clean brush and a smaller size brush after each one would help better with blending out shadows so I'm gonna take the color jilted and I'm going to place that directly underneath the transition shade that I placed down on my lid And I'm going to try to get the gradient effect so that the eyeshadow will look nice. And I'm just going to do the same to my other eye. Try to build it up. Build up the color so it looks like a gradient. Just check it to make sure everything is even and apply a blast or whatever eyeshadow I have on my brush. The brush set that I'm using is a brush set from Amazon. It's called Kivange or whatever. They were really cheap. They're like $16. So yep. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color Urban, which is that dark purple, really pretty. I'm going to put that in my outer corner, just pack it in the outer corner. And I'm going to start blending it directly into my crease. And I'm going to start trying to build up the color. I'm gonna place that color directly underneath the second color that I put down. So it's gonna be a gradient. We're trying to get the little gradient effect, they call it. <laughs> so it could look a little decent. Okay. 
I was just building up the color. So now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm just applying it directly to my eyelid because I tried it with the brush at first and it didn't work out so well. So I just put it like that. And so here, um, I'm just creating a semi-cut crease. So it's like half of a cut crease without like the winged out part. And like that outer corner kind of blends into this cut crease. So I, I cut it like a little bit above my natural crease. So that it wouldn't like transfer other shadows to the top where it looks messy. So I just, you know, cut the crease or whatever. And I'm blending the purple in the outer corner because I'm going to start placing more purple. So it could blend into my lid colors. So I'm gonna clean up that crease. So next I'm gonna take the color Freak, which is like a really bright green. And I'm gonna just, you know, put it on the center of my lid. And I also have to blend it into the purple. So it could like, we'll blend the edges into the purple so it could blend together I think now I'm just packing on color so next I'm gonna take the color thrash it's like a highlighter yellow I don't know like a green yellow it's more yellowish and I'm just gonna put that like in the inner corner of my not inner corner but like the innermost Oh, the int whatever you know next to the green <laughs> and I'm just packing the color on there and trying to blend out the edges packing more color on so at this point I'm going back to each brush that I use to apply the colors so I'm literally using you know all the brushes that I used for the colors and just packing more color on and blending out the edges For some reason, I thought this eyeshadow look reminded me of sherbet ice cream. It just makes me happy. I love it. So I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna name it a sherbet cut crease. <laughs> so now I'm taking my NYX liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna start creating a wing. So yeah, I just pulled it out a little bit, like swiped it up a little, try to connect it toward, sort of towards my my eyebrow the tail of my eyebrow and then I brought it back in and now I'm just trying to get the shape correct so that I can fill it in yeah so I'm using like little strokes to try to you know fill it in without messing it up because it's kind of hard sometimes but I think smaller strokes always like make it turn out better So now I'm just trying to get a clean wing and now I'm building up the wing really close to my eyelashes because I have small eyelids so I don't have a lot of lid space to work with since I have like hooded eyes I'm just building the liner up not too thick thank you guys for watching if you liked it comment share subscribe and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.